Hey, this is Cabbage. Um, Cabbage is an IDE or an integrated development environment. And the cool thing about Cabbage is it helps us uh, develop our C Sound programs, but um, it can also help you make turn them into like plugins um, that you can use standalone or in your DAW as a VST, or even in VCV Rack, which is really, really cool. So before we get started, you want to check that your um, you've selected an appropriate audio output for the program. So what we're going to do is first click on um, the settings icon and check our audio output. So just make sure you've selected an appropriate one from there first. And then that's it. We're ready to get started. So the way to get started is to create a new file by pressing the icon in the top left. And Cabbage creates uh, or gives us like three options um, for templates. The first one is really good for um, creating a synthesizer instrument. The second one is really good if you're going to try and make some kind of audio effect. Um, and the third is designed kind of just to work like a traditional C sound um, script, or C sound file. And that's what we're going to do. So click on C sound and you're going to have to name it something. So I'm going to name this my first cabbage and just save it to my desktop for now. Cool. And here it is. So this is the kind of smallest and simplest C sound script that you'll see. Um, and it's divided up into sections that are kind of um, delineated by these tags. So you can see that all the code for the whole program is um, housed inside of this C sound synthesizer tag. There's one at the top and then one at the bottom with um, a little slash next to it as well. Below that, we have the CS options section. Um, and we don't need to worry about that for now, but that's just kind of like going into, going into live and maybe changing some of your preferences, similar to there. Um, below that, we have the CS instrument section. Now this is, uh, we're gonna do some stuff in here. And this is where we define and create the instruments that we're gonna use in our script. Um, and that, to follow the Ableton analogy, is kind of like how in Ableton, we need to select an instrument and put it on, uh, put it into our session. That's what we're going to do in here, specifically between this little bit here that says instrument or instra one and end in. We're going to do some work in there. And then the last section we will look at is the CS score section down the bottom. And this is where we're basically going to put our notes, which is just like putting some note information in a timeline here. So it's pretty similar. So let's start by creating an instrument because that was the first thing I did in Ableton. Um, and to do that, we're going to use a VCO2 instrument. So I'm just going to type VCO2 in between the lines that say instra1 and end in. Um, with that VCO2, I'm going to type in uh, the number 0 0.001. Now that's going to be our amplitude and it's very low but that's a safe place to start. Then I'm going to type comma and type in a frequency. So we're going to start with 440 hertz, because why not? And then we're going to connect that to a variable that's going to act as our output. So just in front of VCO2, I'm going to type A and then out with a capital O. Cool. And then after that, we just need to connect that to an output. So I'm going to type out. That's going to be our output. And the signal that's coming from VCO2 is going to go into the variable I created here, A out, and that's just kind of like our cable. And we're going to connect that cable to the output by typing it in this row. And because we've got two channels set up in this template, we're going to write it twice with a comma in between, so we'll hear it in the left and right. Cool. Um, now, let's have a listen to that by pressing the play button at the top left. So here we go. Very nice and quiet. It's still going and it stopped. Let's raise the volume by power factor of 10. And let's do that one more time. There we go. Cool. And we have a long note. And that is because in our score section, 
we have this line of code here, and that's called an I statement. Now, an I statement or short, is short for instrument statement, and it currently has three values or three parameters. The first one that says I1 means that this line's going to address instrument one. So that's the name. So whatever we wrote here, we type I and then something. So if this was instrument two, which changes to I2. Um, let's pop back to I1 for now. The second parameter says uh, when the note will be played. It currently says zero. So that means zero seconds after I press the play button, the sound will play. And the third parameter says um, how long the note should last for. So currently 10 seconds. So if I shorten this to, let's say, five seconds and run the script again, you can see we have a shorter note. And if we change it to one second, great. Cool. Um, what now? Well, what we can do is copy this. And then if we play that, we'll get two one second notes. Well, what happened there actually was we've got two one second notes both starting at the same time because they both started at zero time. So if we want to hear them separately, we might need to spread them out. So if I change the starting time of the second note to two seconds, this note, the first note will play for one second at the beginning. And then after two seconds, another note will play. Let's hear that. Cool. All right. So the next thing we might want to do is be able to change the frequency of the note so we don't just hear the same 440 all the time. Now, to do that, what we can do is add another parameter or P field to our instrument statement. So let's write um, 400 here and 800 here. So that's going to be mean hertz. And we can see in our I statement that is the one, two, three, fourth parameter. So if I go back to my instrument, and instead of typing 440 hertz here, type in P4, meaning parameter number four. If I now press play, you can see the instrument is going to use the values, the fourth parameter or P field value as the frequency. Great, so I can copy this, um, change some of these values again here. So let's go 1000 and let's go 1200. And remember, you need to, unless you want the notes to play at the same time, you need to change their start time. So I'm going to change this to start time of four seconds and six. So let's hear that. Cool. Huh, one more. And just to finish off, the other thing we might want to change is the, um, is the amplitude of the sound. So we can get a bit of dynamic interest going along. So let's type in another value here. Um, we don't want it to get too loud. So let's go 0 0.01 on the first one and then 0 0.03, a bit louder, 0 0.05 and then let's do really quiet, 0 0.01 again. Let's hear that. Oh. Last thing is you can see now we've added a fifth parameter to these I statements. One, two, three, four, five. So we need to do the same thing with the amplitude um, parameter in our VCA2 and change that to P5. Louder again and soft. And that's the absolute basics of using C sound in Cabbage.